Okay, RBT competency exam. This was a request for discrete trial training. You can see it. So I would ask, as the BCBA, what is discrete trial training? You can give me a variety of answers. You can say it's a style of teaching in ABA. You could say there's a clear beginning, middle, and end. Um, you could say discrete trial training is characterized by the SD, the response, and the consequence. You could say DTT is useful because you can deliver feedback and reinforcement very quickly. Um, so there's a lot of different answers that you can give for DTT. Don't overcomplicate it. Uh, it's the most used teaching method in ABA, so you should be familiar with it. You've probably already done it. Um, basically, there's a clear beginning, middle, and end to each trial. It allows you to give correct feedback. Um, there's an SD. There can be a prompt. There's a behavior and a consequence. Okay. So if I ask you to give me an example, um, let's say uh, you say touch your nose. Good job touching your nose. So that's one trial. The SD is touch your nose. The behavior is, and the consequence is the feedback. Good job touching your nose. So you can see that's only one trial, and it's done very quickly. So you're able to do multiple trials very fast. So it would look like touch your nose. Good job touching your nose. Clap your hands. Good job clapping your hands. Wiggle your fingers. Good job wiggling your fingers. All right. So that's three trials very quickly, allowing you to give corrective feedback. And one thing else to note is when you're giving corrective feedback, you always want to label that behavior, right? So when I say, good job touching your nose, I don't just say, good job. I clarify what they did successfully. Uh, don't overcomplicate discrete trial training. Um, keep it very simple, and uh, you should be just fine.